Less than a month after Taliban rolled into the Afghan capital, women have made a tough decision and braved the hardliners to return to work at the airport. With the Islamists saying that women should stay at home for their own safety, many have very less choice. Of more than 80 women working at the airport before Kabul fell to Taliban on 15th of August, just 12 returned to their jobs. But they are among very few women in the capital allowed to return to work. The Taliban have told most not to go back to work until further noticed. Women's rights in Afghanistan were sharply curtailed under the Taliban's 1996-2001 rule. But since returning to power, the group claims they will be less extreme. A four-story building collapsed in North Delhi's Malka Ganj area near Sabzi Mandi late on Monday morning. Two children, both brothers, were rescued from the debris but were declared brought dead at Bada Hindu Rao Hospital. One person was also rescued and is undergoing treatment at the hospital. Delhi Fire Service Chief Atul Garg said that fire control room received a call at 11.50 a.m. regarding a building collapsing in Malka Ganj area. Initially, five fire tenders and rescue teams were sent to the spot. Later, two more fire tenders were dispatched, according to the fire chief. Deputy Commissioner of Police North Anto Alfonse said the rescue operation is still on and local police are there. Further information will be shared soon. First-time legislator Bhupendra Patel took oath as the 17th Chief Minister of Gujarat on Monday, a day after his name was announced for the top job by BJP leadership. Earlier in the day, Union Home Minister Amit Shah reached Ahmedabad to attend Patel's swear-in ceremony. Patel met his predecessor Vijay Rupani, who resigned from the post late on Saturday at the Chief Minister's residence in Gandhinagar. Beside Shah, Chief Ministers of some BJP rule states were among those present at Raj Bhavan during the ceremony. Soon after, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also congratulated Patel for taking oath as Gujarat CM. An emergency approval from WHO will allow Bharat Tech to export co-vaccine co-vaccine and also ease international travel for people who have received the vaccine. The World Health Organization's approval for India-made COVID-19 vaccine is expected to be delivered this week. Co-vaccine is one of the three vaccines that is being administered in the country. The drug regulator in the country have given emergency use authorization to Moderna and Johnson & Johnson. WHO's emergency use listing is a prerequisite for COVAX facility vaccine supply to other countries. The EUL assesses the quality, safety and efficiency of COVID-19 vaccine as well as risk management plans and programmatic stability such as cold chain requirements. Former Union Minister and Senior Congress Leader Oscar Fernandez passed away at a private hospital in Mangaluru. He was 80. Fernandez, a sitting Rajya Sabha MP, was undergoing treatment at a private hospital in Mangaluru after he suffered a fall while exercising. He is survived by his wife and two children. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was among those who expressed his condolences. Saddened by the demise of Rajya Sabha MP Shri Oscar Fernandez G, in this sad hour, my thoughts and prayers are with his family and well wishes. May his soul rest in peace, PM Modi said. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.